Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Viola and welcome to London in lockdown. So I've already been out for the day, took my dog for a walk and that kind of thing. But it's my hair wash day and I thought that it would be really nice to get ready for dinner. So I'm going to wash my hair, kind of do a little bit of pampering I guess and um, do my makeup, everything, even though I'm not going anywhere because what else is there to do on a Sunday in lockdown? So I've put in an order to get a few, because um, I need to get some of my usual hair products that are starting to go empty. So I've been most recently using the Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo and conditioner. My conditioner doesn't have much in and because I can't, I'm not gonna just pop out just for that and I am expecting some to arrive within the next week because there's a delay on deliveries. I've got a travel size one that's got a tiny bit in it. And then for conditioner, I'm also going to use this OGX coconut milk conditioner. I do like this one. Um, for my skin, I'm gonna use the last of this um, fresh rose face mask. I've just probably got like one, um, one portion left of this so I thought it'd be good to finally finish this up and then I've been meaning to try these these are a like a Korean beauty brand KNC beauty I believe it's a Korean beauty brand and this is a eye mask and it's so cute because it's got these little stars on the packaging and um, I think they're actually on the product as well but we'll see when I open it I've never tried this before so that'll be a first time use for me and I've also never used this before. This is the Lush Cookie Dough Body Scrub. And it smells really good. And I'm gonna be using that too. So a little bit of self-care, do my hair, and then I'm also gonna try and do a cool makeup look. Before I wash my hair, I'm just gonna detangle it. So start at the the ends and just kind of work my way up. My hair's still looking like in relatively good nick, quite shiny and stuff like that. It kind of just goes in in waves, but it has been about two weeks since I've washed my hair. So it is due for a wash. It's kind of, if I show you, when my hair is dirty, the difference. So here is kind of weighed down by products and stuff that have been in it over the weeks. One thing I use in the shower is a Denman shower brush, just like this. I make sure to keep my hair all in this direction, like going downwards, as it's the best way to avoid any knots or tangles. I'm going to use the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. I use quite a generous amount. And I'll put that down this kind of centre part around the edges of my hair and start to work that. And then I use the tips of my fingers to rub my scalp. Kind of sliding my fingers into my scalp. And then rubbing it. But still making sure that my hair's in the correct position so all coming downwards. I'm going to add in, I'm going to go in first with this conditioner, I just finish it off. I use the rest of what's in here too. I use a lot of conditioner. Right, 
what I really want to feel is when I go into my hair like halfway that this is all fully saturated as well as much as the hair that's on around the perimeter of your head to really feel inside there it's got lots of conditioner on it too So I use a clip like this in my wet hair. So in my wet hair I put a clip in and I cover it with cling film. So I'm going to leave my hair with the conditioner on it for around 20 to 30 minutes in total. I was probably in the shower for about 5 minutes after I put it on just doing the body scrub, shaving my legs. So whilst I'm waiting for my hair to decondition, I've gone ahead and uh, applied the Fresh Rose Face Mask. And I'm also going to be painting my toenails using this Maybelline Superstay nail colour and it's in Orange Punch. So I'm going to be using the Aussie, Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioning Spray. Just going to spray that. that from my hair and then I'm gonna start the blow dry with my hair in two halves and then I'll split it into smaller sections uh, later on so medium heat full speed Now I'm ready to take off these. Yeah. Put a bit of eye cream and face cream and then I'm gonna straighten my hair. At the moment I'm just using the simple hydrating gel cream. This is really inexpensive. It doesn't have SPF in it. So if you are looking for SPF, you're going to have to use a separate pro product. I have SPF in my foundation, but I also have this. This is the simple Radiance Booster SPF 30. And it's a really nice formula it's literally just like a, like a water kind of a more of a kind of oily a little bit but very light and it sits well underneath makeup so I just put a tiny bit of that on so now I'm going to straighten my hair with my GHD Platinum Plus hair straighteners. They're just heating up. And it's kind of the just standard procedure that I've done before. I'm not gonna put any extra products in my hair, so all it's got in it is the Miracle Moist spray at this moment. And it it's feeling really nice, it's looking really great. You can see it moves so much more than when it's dirty. bit to straighten so I'm just gonna curl the ends of my hair leaving all of my hair down I'm just grabbing some more, like reasonable size sections so 
maybe like six or seven, six, probably like six curls at the most per side. Smaller sections as I get near the front. Side, I've got more of the hair from the back over the shoulder, so I might need a few more. Let's go ahead and do this. So this is the finished hair and makeup. I'm really happy with how my hair came out. It's looking really nice and shiny. It's got the nice little bend in it. Looks really cute. I'm growing out my hair at the moment. I'm hoping that it's gonna be kind of mid back length by July, which is my birthday. Um, yeah, I had it trimmed not too long ago. But yeah, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, let me know what you're doing to keep busy during the lockdown. I'm lucky enough to be able to work from home, so I'm continuing work normal hours, Monday to Friday. But on the weekends, I guess that's when I've got more time on my hands and I'm trying to think of different things that I can do. So yeah, if you've got any ideas in terms of videos and stuff like that, that you want to see content, that kind of thing, then let me know. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.